It's the Evening Bulletin. I'm Perry Michael Simon. They keep telling us how strong the job market is for job seekers, and I guess this is a result of that. A lot of job candidates aren't bothering to show up for interviews and aren't telling the prospective employers that they're blowing them off. They're ghosting the interviews and even ghosting actual job offers, not responding with so much as a thank you. Some businesses say that 20 to 50 percent of their applicants are no-shows because they have other job options and don't feel the need to bother to do the polite thing. And that's bad and shows incivility and poor social skills, but then there's the other side of it. How many resumes have you sent out over the years and gotten no response? How did that make you feel? Here's one from my experience. I was once up for a radio program director's job in a major market. They flew me in for an interview, and I was told I was one of two finalists, and they would let me know. That was in 1993. They still haven't called or written. Seriously, I found out I didn't get the job by reading about the guy they did hire in a trade magazine. So, I understand why job applicants are turning the tables. I'd still at least let the hiring manager know if I wasn't going to do the interview because that's the polite way to go and because you never know if your paths will cross again. But after centuries of employers blowing off job applicants without so much as a sorry letter, the tables are finally being turned. Back Monday with more. Have a great weekend. That's enough.